Imagine, if you will, that perhaps you're neurodivergent, and when people ask you about the weather, you struggle with that question, right? Maybe you love talking about the weather. Maybe you know exactly what temperature it was, exactly what the precipitation chance was, exactly like all of the relevant details you would need to know, and you feel like if you share this with people, that's maybe not what they're asking about. Maybe they're gonna think you're a little weird or something. Maybe you don't like talking about the weather at all. Maybe it's just like, this is a pointless conversation. I don't need to be having it with these people, right? Or maybe you're just, it feels like there's some unspoken cultural rules or norms around this question that you just have no idea how to navigate, right? This stuff can be really just complicated and nuanced and specific, and who, who knows what this stuff, right? Well, I'm here to tell you today why I love talking about the weather, and this may or may not be the same with whoever these other people are who are asking you about it, but we'll give you some stuff to consider and maybe you can get something out of these conversations too in the future. So when I'm asking about the weather, I'm not just asking someone about the weather, I'm also asking them, how do you feel about the weather? And this is a pretty subtle distinction because it's not just the actual weather itself. We all know what happened, like we were there. We're asking about someone's experience of the weather, how they felt about it, what they did during that time. And so we have the shared experience of whatever the weather happened to be, whether that's sun, shine, sunshine, whether that's sunshine, whether that's rain, whether that's snow, whether it's cold, whether it's hot, we all have a shared experience. And we can ask someone like, oh, how did you cope with the heat? Or, you know, did you do something nice during this day when it was a mild day? All of these questions we can ask, it's a way of relating to each other. It's a way of asking not just what happened that other day, but also how did you deal with it? How did you feel about it? I think we learn a lot of interesting things when we ask people about the weather. Part of the things we uh, learn about in this interaction is we learn just how are they doing generally? Because I think how we are doing quite generally also informs how we feel about the weather. So if I might say, yeah, it was a sunny day, but you know, I don't really like sunny days. So I didn't really have a good day. Or if I say like, it was a sunny day, but you know, I had to uh, care for someone in my life. So that really overshadowed, I wasn't able to get outside, that overshadowed my day. Uh, I think just asking about the weather really tells us a lot about how people are doing in this way because it tends to be like how you're doing informs how you feel about the weather. So really when we're asking people about the weather or when they're asking us about the weather, if we're really open to talking about that, it really tells us a lot about who they are and it tells us if we want to maybe deepen our relationship with them. I think if we end up talking about the weather, we might end up finding out that we have certain things in common. We might find that we spend our days doing similar things. We might end up even saying, oh, let's overlap our days. Let's spend time together. I think often that starts with something as banal as talking about the weather. So if people give you an opportunity to talk about the weather and maybe they're thinking, well, we're just talking about the surface level. We're gonna move on. That also can happen. I think. There's, there's layers to this, right? So for some people, talking about the weather might just be a formality. Something you just do, you get it over with. It's something that we sort of do when we run into different people, um, but they're not really expecting any kind of deep engagement with it. And if you are someone who's a very deep engager, if that's what you sort of tend to expect from social interactions, then it, there's a mismatch there with those people who are just talking about the weather itself and moving on. But I think it's also, in this process of talking about the weather, it's also important to know our audience. We might say, oh, how was the weather? Good, I'm leaving now. Okay, so I know that you were able to observe that the weather is good, but maybe you don't wanna talk with me. And that's still good information for me to know. I think it tells me about my relationship with this person. Uh, similarly, if someone wants to tell me all about the weather, they wanna tell me all about their day, Maybe this person is open to being friendly with me. Um, I think that talking about the weather, it really is an invitation to have further different conversations, all different kinds of conversations. Why people talk about the weather is because it is a social entry point. It is a place where there are many other places we can go next. And so you can see the common utility of talking about it 
because it's a shared experience, because we all are already familiar with the terms of the conversation. We all know what the weather was. We were there. And we can talk about that with other people who are also there, and we can maybe have shared understandings of how to deal with different kinds of weather. We maybe can learn about the seasons through our interactions with each other, and it gives us an insight into people's lives. I think there's so much to be gained from talking about the weather. And so if this is a conversation you've shied away from or you haven't really understood what the point of it all is, I would encourage you, next time someone asks about the weather, give that a shot. Tell them all about the weather. And then ask them, how was the weather? Anyway, uh, tell me about the weather in the comment section. Tell me where you're from and what the weather is. And uh, shout out to my patrons. Thanks, y'all. Bye.